that he went on to become a legend in Tamil cinema is something I don't even have to tell you. But did you know what this legend's favorite hangout was? The Talapakati Biryani Kada in Dindakal. Of course, I can't take you to Dindakal, but the least I can do is take you to a branch that they've opened in Ananagar here. From 1957 to 2009, Dindical Talapakati's biryani has had innumerable fans and the reason lies in its taste that has been consistent throughout. The traditional biryani recipe first introduced by Nagasami Naidu in Dindical has been faithfully passed down generations. Now I was curious about the name Talapakati. I believe its founder Mr. Naidu always tied a turban around his head. So, people began to address him as Talapa Katti Biryani Kada. The idea behind this particular uh, venture, new venture, Talapa Katti restaurant at Chennai, we want to bring the village into the city. The confidence what we got on our food, not because of the color or any other thing, only because of the quality of the food. We are spending more time in purchasing and finalizing the ingredients than the time what we are spending with the customers. We want to take this village product to all over the world. While the first restaurant in Dindakal is just an eight-seater, the one in Chennai has leather cushioned seats and dark interiors accommodating almost 90 people. They also have branches in Kodaikanal and Coimbatore. Many throng this place in Chennai for a plate of Dindical special mutton biryani and brain fry and just like theatres, the place is houseful. And one such fan of this place is the Sakrakati. I mean, the hero of Sakrakati, Shantanu Bhagyaraj. So Shantanu, I'm here to find out why you are so crazy about the biryani here. Namur Sapar. I mean, any South Indian, you know, it's their favourite food, uh, biryani. And especially Talapakati biryani, I've heard so much about it. This is my first time I'm coming over here, but I've heard a lot about it, so I'm looking forward to eating biryani here. So how often do you come here? I am a very big, I'm like a big time foodie, but I'm not allowed to eat so much outside, being an actor. So uh, I try to eat out, you know, once in two weeks, something like that. And whenever I get time to eat out, I see that I stick to biryani, because that's the most favorite food of mine. I heard that even your dad is a fan of uh, biryani, so... Yeah. So my both of you share the same interest or? Yeah, yeah. You see, both me and my dad, both of us are like complete non-vegetarians. So, I think I'm going to tell you about food. So, he is fully into this on this. He loves food. Apart from biryani, what is your other favorite cuisine? Uh, if it's not biryani, I'd you know, offer uh, Chinese. I think we should just start ordering. Yeah, we I'm, should. I'm yeah. starved. While Shantanu was busy making up his mind to settle with the meat of his choice, from chicken and mutton to kadai and fish. I was busy hunting for vegetarian items in the menu. I rummaged around and finally settled for a Chinese veg fried rice and a paneer butter masala to get a feel of the Indian cuisine too. If you want veg fried rice, you're still missing out on the biryani, I'm telling you. The Dindakal biryani is made from Siraga Samba rice, which is the secret behind its success. Siraga Samba is smaller in size than the basmati grain and has its own distinct taste. Magical word attack. So, how is the biryani? It's awesome. Mm -hmm. Really different from all the other biryanis I've had till today. It's probably because of you know the, the rice they use here. Mm -hmm. I don't know, you can, you can see the rice is like really tiny, it's not like the usual basmati rice. That's why probably you know it tastes different from all the other biryanis. So, do you like it? I love it. But tell me. When you go out on your first date, maybe you should just consider bringing her to this place. Will that be or not? I heard you're a good singer, so... <laughs> the non-veg ranges from biryanis with meats, as well as manchurians, kebabs and various meat-based gravies. The choice for vegetarians is not bad either. 
various tiffins, tandoori items and meals can be had. But remember, this place is known for its non-veg specialities, so they quite eclipse their veg counterparts. Do you cook at home? How much of a... Oh yeah. My entire family eats when only when I cook. <laughs> no matter what, I don't know how to cook at all. Everyone's gonna run out of my house if I cook. The only thing I know to make is um, the two minute noodles and know how to put a dosa. That's all. God, very tough thing. Yeah, and I know how to toast a bread. Wow. Can you believe that? I mean, I don't, even you probably I can't do that. I Jiffy, I heard. Exactly. It takes me, what, uh, 20, <laughs> 20 to 30 minutes to toast a bread and to put a dosa. And the best part is my dosas are very different, you know. They never come out in this round shape. I know. They always come out in this scrambled. with different marks. <laughs> yeah. But I want to do something like that different, you know. <laughs> so how much of a cook is your mom or your sister? My sister is a um, complete, uh, you know, she cooks all, she makes all the desserts really well. She, uh, I don't know where she learned all this from, but uh, you know, desserts, I just love them. And my mom is more of a vegetarian cooker. She never cooks non-vegetarian. <laughs> She doesn't touch non-vegetarian also. Generally, when you have a good cast, the movie is considered to be good. It will come out, it will turn out well. But then, does that apply for food as well? The mix of ingredients? If, uh, take lime juice for instance. If you put salt, it has a different taste. Same, you put sugar in the lime juice, it has a different taste. So that's how it is for the biryani and all, every, every other food also. You, in, even one ingredient you miss out, the taste, the taste changes completely. So you have to have the right ingredients in food. For a very tasty out, good food. I think they missed out all the ingredients in this fried rice. In the fried rice? That's why I told you, you should have had the biryani. But then the paneer butter masala was good. So I mixed up, I'm mixing up with all the paneer butter masala I'm having. So it's paneer butter masala rice that I'm having. I've been a regular customer to this place. The biryani is too good. It's a homemade uh, biryani. I find it much more better than the commercial biryani which I find outside. And more than me, my daughter, she liked it very much. She ate uh, quite well compared to the other hotels where she, I've taken that. So does the Sakrakati hero have a sweet tooth? Yes, I have a favorite for uh, fried ice cream, which you get in these Chinese restaurants. I just mm -hmm. love them. They don't have fried ice cream here, but uh, something that will come a close second, strawberry? Strawberry, my favorite. Great. So strawberry ice cream and I think I'll go in for... Pista? Pista, pista. pista kuruna pa. <laughs> so yeah, strawberry is my favorite. Mm. But many of my friends think that, you know, strawberry taste, strawberry ice cream tastes like Colgate toothpaste. I'm one of them. I think so too. <laughs> well, seriously, I don't know. I mean, I don't like strawberries as in the actual strawberries. But the flavor is really good. But then strawberries of any kind, be it the fruit, be it the flavor, I just can't stand it. Oh, what was that comparison you were thinking about last night? It's Sakra Kati, Talapa Kati. Brilliant, isn't it? Three cheers for so the anchor, come, please. You oh, come brilliant, from, no, anchor. <laughs> you come from Sakra Kati to Talapa Kati. Oh, <laughs> sure, sure, sure. But the next time you come to Talapa Kati, make sure you order for the pista ice cream and not the strawberry ice cream. And make sure you order for the mutton biryani and not the veg fried rice. <laughs> can have a sumptuous meal and just like Shantanu you can just come here order for a biryani and nalla cut to cut and cut along.